how to embody your higher self and heal your inner child. Greetings to you all. It's a wonderful day in your life, a wonderful morning, night, afternoon. Here you are in your life. Is it the best life it can possibly be? Or are there a few things you would like to change? I am coming forward and I assure you I have lived many lives. I have changed a great deal from one life to another. And I'm coming forward now from an ascended realm of life. For life goes on, beloved. It goes on and on. There is no end to the wonder. No end to the wonder that you can experience in this life and in all the dimensions in which your soul travels. And indeed, you have not just been upon the earth, you see. You have been in many other places within the universe. For there are many frequencies, many densities, many dimensions, or in other words, many places for you to experience your soul and the light of your higher self. Not all those places are physical, but many of them are. But here upon the earth, you have a special soul task, soul purpose. You could say it is an overriding soul purpose. And then inside that great overriding soul purpose, you have particular purposes, creative purposes for your soul's expression. <clears throat> As you fulfill the great purpose, which is for your soul to evolve towards a greater capacity of love. And that is what your higher self is. For all of you have this higher self. What does that mean? It is the part of you that knows, that hears me and knows what I'm talking about. Even if at first it might feel a little overwhelming, but you can feel it, you know it. There is the part of you that connects with the source, with love, with beauty and truth. You are a being who is made of love and that is your higher self. It is constantly feeding to you love from within. But can you receive it? That's the thing, you see. Are you able to literally download that incredible energy that is your higher self that never dies, that goes on from lifetime to lifetime, bringing forward into every incarnation journeys, adventures, wonderful opportunities for you to manifest the divine plan upon the earth. I could talk about every lifetime. If you come and see me, I will probably do that because your lifetimes are fascinating. And in each one, you have brought forward aspects of your higher self, colors of your soul, talents and abilities, creative powers and potentials that you have realized. But I'm going to keep to this lifetime as you are coming forward to meet me and I come from, you could say, a timeless place with an overview when you come forward. I can see the other lives that have led to this one, even though in a sense, in this life, you are choosing to be in a third dimensional <coughs> reality. And what that really means is that though there is a, a timeline succession that you are choosing from certain lives. The reality is that your soul's evolution is timeless. It is qualitative. You might have found, in that sense, enlightenment in a life, in a certain form, 
or within a certain body, in a certain expression, or within a certain culture. But you would perhaps like to bring that consciousness into another culture, into another form. Perhaps you were a man and you want to now be a woman. Perhaps you were in an Arab culture and you now want to be in a, in a European culture. Or perhaps you're in a native a culture of the First Nation in, in America and you want to now be in, in Russia or in one of, perhaps in China and experience some other kind of, of government. And, and type of life. And you find yourself experiencing all kinds of emotions in relation to the earth life that you are living. So let's come to this life and just for a moment think to yourself, right, well, what is my higher self telling me right now in this life? What are the issues I'm dealing with? And sometimes they will come forward in, in a negative form. And sometimes they are really overwhelming. Almost you feel, I, I, can't, I can't seem to get on top of this. I, I feel very oppressed by what is inside me. That doesn't seem to be anything to do with my higher self or feeling good at all. And yet everything that your soul downloads into this life all the information, all the potentials and possibilities, they actually come from the source of your being. You are having, you could say, a cosmic adventure. You are having so many varied and different experiences, and you are indeed a walking library of these experiences. So oftentimes we will talk to your Akashic Record Keepers to discover where in this adventure you are and which particular lives you are bringing forward here to be resolved or worked on for your higher self, your divine self, to bring love to, to bring consciousness and elevation, clarity and upliftment to. For above all, and you perhaps know this in your life, you can only really solve a problem or a difficulty when you have the insight that is provided from, you could say, the level above or a greater wisdom, a greater intelligence than where that problem or difficulty uh, was made from. Consciousness is everything and what your higher self brings you is both the consciousness that you have, you could say, achieved or gathered or created in other lives and also the potential for greater, further realizations and enlightenment of your being in this life. You are a multidimensional being and you have within you both the pain that you have come to resolve and heal and the brilliance and the light that is already radiating, which is why you are here. And so our job with you for I am an ascended being, which means that I have journeyed a great deal with my higher self and have chosen now to live in that dimension that is called the ascended realms. But understand, you have your energy in those realms too. That is your higher self, your ascended self. The part of you that you can, if you like, contact if you want to know so much that is already there in the continuum of your being, in your multidimensional self. So I've created a lot of journeys for you. And you can go into uh, my website there, the website of the vehicle and of uh, my beloved uh, family who have created so much support for, for, for bringing my work forward into the world. And you can find all kinds of meditations to help you affirm the presence of your higher self that help you work with your higher self and bring the love forward to connect with your human self and to change the patterns of your mind, of your heart and your body to become the embodiment of your higher self, which then means that you can become co-creator in so many different ways and so many different expressions of the new earth, the new earth. What is that? Well, it is actually the ascended earth that already is 
For like you, the earth is multidimensional, has a body of light and many frequencies of that body of light. And when you are able to bring your higher self into your physical body, then you can vibrate your energy at such a rate that you can bring into creation, into manifestation, that higher vibration, that higher frequency of the earth. And that is what I'm here to help you to do. And even though it might be hard for you to understand, you know, I recommend you come forward and work more if it interests you to become your best, most creative, most loving, most compassionate and powerful self in order to experience yourself working with angelic beings, ascended beings and divine beings at this very special time upon the earth. And so I'm putting forward at the moment many courses for you. I have some that have passed already, one which has been the crystalline ascension, working with crystals, helping you to align yourself to that higher self for crystals and working with crystals helps you a great deal to that end. This course is, I believe, available for you. Again, you have to search, ask my beautiful family, Jerome, Sophia, and the vehicle, and they will make these available to you. I've also just finished doing one, which is absolutely to do with you connecting with your higher self and through your higher self to all the great beings of light who are coming forward to walk with you upon the earth at this most important time because they need you to be the conduits of their energy and lift up your brothers and sisters and the whole of the frequency upon the earth. And so I've created a journey for you called Rise and Shine with the Ascended Beings of Light because they are right here. And this really does matter that you can avail yourself of their presence. And just now, I am bringing forward a great work with you, a work of upliftment, a work where you can blast through, as you might say, any resistances you may still have to standing up strong, to being the co-creators of the golden age upon the earth, the new earth, an earth that is literally founded on the principles of love and compassion, of peace, kindness, sharing. So I really do invite you to come forward, to be co-creators with many others at this very important time upon the earth when so many portals, you may have seen them, you may have been with me on some of them, or you may have been in your own groups, participating in meditations as the connections and alignments between ascended beings, divine beings, angelic beings are opened and strengthened through the portals that are becoming manifest in the worlds of light. So I really look forward to working with you, dear ones. Blessings and peace.